Buhari likes it or not, Nigeria must be recreated. Governor Fayemi Kayode reports. The chairman of Nigerian Governors Forum and the governor of Ekiti State, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, has said that Nigeria must be recreated to satisfy restructuring agitations if the nation's social, political, and economic greatness must be attained. This must happen. The governor made a remark on Saturday while speaking as a guest lecturer at the 50th anniversary of the Center for Historical Documentation and Research in Kaduna. Fayemi advocated for restructuring that will cement the unity of Nigeria and endanger a perfect union among its peoples irrespective of their ethnics religious, cultural, and linguistic differences. He also suggested an equitable revenue allocations formula, allocations formula that will speak to the federalism Nigeria has adopted and give more resources to state and local governments, which carry more responsibilities. According to him, a review of the sharing formula to 46 percentage for state, 35 percentage to the federal government, and 23 percentage to the local governments, will go a long way to devoid more responsibilities to constituent units and reduce the concentration of powers at the center. Speaking on the topic on Finnish greatness, Towards a more perfect union in Nigeria, Dr. Fayemi, who is also the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, said that building Nigeria to the status of a country that commands global respect is a continuous work in progress. Dr. Fayemi, who insisted that the 1914 amalgamation of the Northern and Southern Protectorate by the British was not a mistake, as some have argued, adding that the country can use the diversity to achieve greatness if Nigerians would utilize the inherent opportunities. He appealed to Nigerians to come together and urgently tackle issues that divide them if the dreams of the founding fathers, including the late premium of Northern Nigeria, sir. Am Amadou Belu, the Sadudia of Sokoto, are to be realized by the present generation. The Ekiti State Governor said that all ethnic nationalities should be made to feel important in the Nigerian project, hence, prefer preference should not be given to a particular ethnic groups over others. In essence, our desire to build a more perfect union should be anchored on the principle of devolution of powers, that is, reallocation of powers and resources to the country's federating units. The reasons for this are not far-fetched. First, long years of military rule has produced an over-concentration of powers and resources at the center to the de detriment of the state. Two, the 1999 constitution has, has been urged by several observers. It was hurriedly put together by the departing military authority and was not a product of sufficient inclusiveness. Part of the focus of such an exercise should be one, what items should remain on the exclusive legislative list and which ones should be transferred to the concurrence. Other, other top topical issues include derivation principle, physical federalism and revenue allocation, also land tenure, local government creations and autonomy and so on and so forth. All points considered the physical body of maintaining a largely inefficient and over bloated ones 
is a metaphor for shooting oneself on the foot. According to him, the evolution of Nigerian federalism has not saved Nigerians' best interests, and it is not surprising that the polity has witnessed protest at every attempt at constitutional re-engineering. Two prominent examples he noted were the 2005 Constitutional Reform Conference convened by President Olusha Obasanjo's administration and the 2014 National Conference at the instance of ex-president Gulag Jonathan. He also explained that in the two conferences, the delicate issue remains that the restructuring that is what is involved now, that is what the present government should have done, asking but for how long can we continue to run away from this issue and continue to pretend that somehow it would resolve itself someday? That cannot be possible. Alluding to recent nationwide protests by youth, Governor Fayemi said that it was high time that the nation's leader looked into ways to solve these problems, which turned an innocuous online protest over police brutalities into a an avenue to challenge perceived failures to meet demands for good governance. He also said that this is why anyone who holds a semblance of power or authorities in this country should be deeply worried by the event of the past few weeks. What started as a onocious online protest over police brutality snowballed before our very eyes into a mass development and assurance they assured more frightening dimension during this election. From the language of this protest, we can see clearly that our youth, they feel pushed to the margin of our nation's social, political, and economic structures. It is incumbent on us to listen to what they are saying and a lot more to what they are probably not saying yet. Thank you, my viewers, for listening to this news. You have heard what Fayemi Coyote has just said concerning this country being restructured. You hear so many things why this country must be recreated because during um, Gulo Jonathan's regime, that was the last time we enjoyed peace. In this country now that president modbora has taken over look at what is happening to this country this country is no longer the way it used to be it's now in a mess this is why fayemi coyote decided to advise president modbora to recreate this country so that the structuring can be a new thing structuring can operate in this country but my question is Will President Modi Buhari agrees to this? He doesn't want to believe, he doesn't want to people to know that he is the cause of the problems in this country.